Hello everyone, my name is Owen Cooper. I do sound design for video games. And today I wanna to show you how to set up a basic occlusion system using FMOD and Unreal. And so this will be two videos. In this first video, I'll show you how to set up the FMOD event, the occlusion parameter, and the effects chain that we'll use to give the occlusion illusion. And then in the second video, we will do uh, the blueprint, the actual blueprint inside of Unreal that will control the logic and tell FMOD how to apply this occlusion parameter. So just so you know what we're going to be ending up with, I have this scene that I've built um, in preparation for this video. And so let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm too far away from it to be activating. Um, we have, um, I have some logic in here so that it doesn't start activating until we get close enough. So you can see now it starts tracing. So it's looking to apply this occlusion parameter. And it sounds like Rocky over there is on the other side of a wall, which he is. And as we get over here, it's a very mean, sounds and nice and clear. I don't care how tough you are. It will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently. And we're doing a multi-trace. So it's going to be the more layers there are, the more occlusion effect it applies. So right over here, there's only one wall. Here's two hits, three hits. And again, if we go too far away, then it will stop doing those calculations so we can save on the performance. All right, so let's get started with the FMOD event, and then the second video will build a blueprint. So for this video, I'm just going to be setting up a looping dialogue event. I pulled this a line of dialogue from YouTube, from the Rocky Balboa movie, and just applied some um, noise reduction and some noise gating and things, so we have a nice, clean, strong dialogue signal. Um, but the setup of the actual event will be simple. It will be setting up the occlusion parameter that will be very important. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm in FMOD here, and I'm going to set up a new 3D event. And I'll just call this tutorial. So you can see I already have a couple things that I was playing around with. And I'll assign this to the master bank so I don't forget. Open up my audio bin here, and you can see I've got this Rocky Balboa speech. Just drag that in. And we're going to want to set this to asynchronous and looping infinitely, and just put a a um, where are you? A sustain point. So that way, it will just continue to loop this infinitely until we tell it to stop. Okay, so we need to create an occlusion parameter, which I've already done. If you click the little plus here on this tab, you can make a new parameter. Um, I've already made one and just named it occlusion. Remember exactly how you spell this, including the casing, because that's how you're gonna have to write it out in Unreal. And I think it's simplest just to make this go from a float of zero to one. And we can do any, math conversion inside of Blueprint. Okay, so we need to set up an effects chain that's gonna consist of a low pass filter, um, some volume automation, and a reverb. So the reverb that we're gonna apply here, it doesn't need to be a crazy reverb because we just wanna simulate that it's in another room. And the room that we're gonna create is not gonna be a real huge area, so we don't need it to sound like it's in this big cavernous thing just kind of like you're on the other side of a wall of a medium, small sized room. So first thing I'm gonna add is a multiband EQ. And as you can see, it starts off with a low pass here. And I just wanna set the bandwidth up to one so that we can get a little bit of resonance when it moves. And then what we're gonna do is add automation to this low pass filter. So when we're at occlusion zero, we wanna make sure that it's all the way up so we're not getting any filtering. And then when we're at occlusion one, let's bring it down to about 260. And um, yeah, so that's that. Let's go ahead and add some volume automation. So just right click on the master volume here, click add automation. 
Oh, and make sure you're on the occlusion tab when you're doing this, because otherwise it'll happen along the timeline, but we want it to happen along the occlusion parameter instead. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put a zero dB point there at zero occlusion, and then at one occlusion, we'll insert a point that brings this down to about minus five dB, and we'll put a kind of quick start on both of these curves. Just drag this middle point down a little bit. All right, then next uh, we want to add a reverb. And I think that this signal path is the best one. First put the reverb, then the low pass filter, and then the volume automation last. Oh, and one thing that I want to do here is increase the range, the maximum distance up to 40, because that'll just make it easier to hear what we're doing in the project. Okay, so first thing you'll notice if I hit play is that this is going to be way too much reverb, um, but we'll give it a listen. Can the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world? And you did. So I want to reduce that down to a much smaller size. So we're going to play with the reverb time here. Can the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world? And you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. About 300 milliseconds sounds pretty good. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you Decrease the density a bit. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shot. And put it on the early reflections more than the late. Tell you something in fact, you just know. do all early reflections. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care. Okay. So what we want to automate here is the wet level now that we have our reverb set up for our room. And when we're at zero occlusion, we want the wet level to be at zero dB, or sorry, minus infinity dB. And then when we get to occlusion one, let's bring it up to minus 10 dB and see how that sounds. So we'll move this slider and give it a test. Oh, one more thing that we should do is um, click on the occlusion tab here. And we have this seek speed. So I've already set this up. If you don't set this up, then in Unreal, if you don't do some sort of interpolation math, then this will instantly jump between different points. This seek speed um, automatically puts some interpolation on FMOD. So you can see if I quickly move this, uh, sorry, if I quickly move this, um, there's a little bit of lag. Let me turn this uh, lower so it's easier to see. And uh, why isn't this working? Hmm. Can the time come for you to be there your own man and take on the world? So you can see it takes a little while to the get line. there. This is way too slow. Um, so I had it at about 0.85 or somewhere around there, I think, 0.86. So it lags a little bit. Maybe a little quicker would be better. Let's say one second. That sounds pretty good. So as we get more and more obstructed from the sound, it will sound more muffled. There's some more reverb. One thing I want to change here is take off a bit of the low gain on that reverb so it doesn't rumble so much. Okay, so that should be good. We have an occlusion parameter set up here and it's applying effects to this event. And so we just want to make sure to build our bank. You can do that by pressing F7. So that should be it for the FMOD part. Um, in the second part, we'll be accessing this event and the occlusion parameter in Blueprint so that we can apply occlusion based on how many hits our ray tracing system will be doing. So check out the next video. I'll see you over there and we'll set this up in Unreal.